hope you're having a great day. I hope you're staying safe at home. I want to talk today about your goals. We have loads and loads of people on social media who say, Luke, I'm trying so hard to lose weight. Luke, I'm exercising. I'm following diet plans. I can't get rid of that belly fat. I can't lose that abdominal fat. We have people coming and saying, hey, Luke, I can't be healthy because my relationships are all you know, out of place and I don't have the motivation or the inspiration to work out. I don't have the motivation to eat well because I have a problem with my partner. My partner has a problem with me. And we have people who say, Luke, how can I focus on my health when my job is something that I hate? Every day I go into office, I have a bad boss, I have a bad colleague. I just can't give up my job, but I'm stuck and I'm not inspired to work out. I'm not motivated to be healthy because I'm stuck in the wrong environment. There are millions and millions of people out there who are trying to make a change at some point in their life, whether it's the weight you're trying to lose, whether it's that cancer you're fighting, it's you're trying to reverse that diabetes, you're trying to you know, make some sense of your job or your workplace or the business that's failing. You know, there's always something that people are looking for. And while the world can promise you quick fixes, tools, sell you the lie of instant gratification that take this, you'll feel better. Oh, you have a problem at work, let's meet in the bar and drink away our problems. I don't have a problem with people drinking, but if you're trying to use alcohol to fix your problems, you're only gonna become an alcoholic really soon. If you're trying to use a fad diet, a piece of paper to change your disease or change your weight, sooner or later, you're gonna have bigger problems because a diet written out on a piece of paper cannot do you any good, any good. So how do we make this change today? When we look at health, we look at our families, we look at relationships, we look at love, we look at careers. There's one simple thing that I wanna introduce you today. Okay, while you may have all the tools available, like yes, you need to exercise so you can go to a gym, you can go to a yoga studio, you can have a personal trainer, you can go for a walk in nature, <clears throat> you have the tools. You're trying to eat well, you have the tools, you have access to good food, you have access to good information telling you what to eat for cancer, what not to eat, what to eat for diabetes, what to eat when you're losing weight. You have all the tools available. You want to sleep better, you have the tools available for that as well. You have the tools available for everything, but the tools are useless if you do not learn how to change your level of consciousness. Now in the simplest ways, what do I mean? How do I move from a lower level of consciousness to a higher level of consciousness? Right now, let's take an example of you trying to lose weight. You've done everything, but you're frustrated. You can't lose that belly fat that you wanna lose, okay? You are at a certain level of consciousness when you are trying to lose that weight. Now, if you really wanna lose that weight, you're using all the tools, you're getting frustrated, you're body shaming yourself, you keep telling yourself you hate how you look, you know, you're filled with negativity about your extra weight, you're at that same level of consciousness. You have all the tools available, but nothing's working, why? It will never work until you can move from that lower state of consciousness to a higher state of consciousness. Now, what happens in this higher state of consciousness? The tools remain the same. The same tools that you had in the lower state of consciousness are the same tools that you have in your new higher state of consciousness. But the only difference is to move from that lower state of consciousness to the higher state of consciousness, you add in two new ingredients, intention, mindfulness, and I'll add two more, patience, and learning the art of acceptance and letting go. If you operate at the same low level of consciousness, you are gonna get the same low results. If that makes you happy, great. If it doesn't, you gotta change. You can't go on through life changing all the tools. After a while, you're gonna become tired. You're gonna exhaust your money changing tools. No, you don't have to keep changing the tools. You gotta to change your level of mindfulness, of, of consciousness. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that. It's the same thing in your relationship. You're getting the same results in your relationship no matter how much you try, how many tools you change. But if you really want that change in your relationship, you've got to change your level of consciousness. Move to a higher level of consciousness. The tools remain the same, but right now you start looking at your life and your partner's life in a different way. What are some of the things that you need to accept? What are some of the things that you need to let go of? 
What are some of the things that you've got to learn to be more patient with? What are the intentions that you put behind your relationship? Are your intentions of your relationships dependent on what society has defined relationships to be? The movies, the songs, the books, social media? Are your intentions dependent on the definition of success according to the virtual world and not according to your own world? When you start changing your level of consciousness, all of this changes. Intention is everything. So whichever part of life you're trying to change today, let's talk about someone with a disease. Okay, you have a disease right now. Let's take the worst case scenario. You have a cancer right now. While you have the tools, you have the medication, you have the nutrition, you have everything. Unless you change your level of consciousness, you cannot get better. Fine, you're at this level right now, you've got it, you're sad, you're angry, you feel cheated on by life, you feel scared, everything. Now you've got to move to a higher level of consciousness if you want different results. That, I'm in acceptance. Fine, I have a cancer growing in me. Now you start educating yourself, knowledge, there's a certain amount of acceptance. When you accept, it allows you to move forward. When you don't accept, you're stuck, you're in a victim mode. You, you now decide to let go of poor lifestyle habits, of relationships that never served you anymore, of wrong habits and things that could have caused your cancer. Because you're at a level of higher consciousness, you can see very, very clearly the changes that you need to make, the changes that you need to own, and the changes that only you can be responsible for. But if you're at that lower level of consciousness that comes around with blame and complain and only self-pity and you know moving into a victim mode, you will get the same results at the level of consciousness that you are at. So anything that you want in life, you first have to change your level of consciousness. So I'm struggling with weight right now, I'm struggling with body fat, okay. Let me set an intention now and move to a higher level of consciousness. Okay, yes, I'm fat. It's okay. It took me one, two years to put on all this weight. It's not gonna go in one month. It's not gonna go in three months. Let me be gentle with myself. I understand by punishing my body with exercise and fat diets and starvation is not gonna do me any harm. Okay, by body shaming myself is only gonna put me into a cycle, a vicious cycle of putting on more weight and my body holding on more weight because of my insecurity. So when I move to this new level, it requires me to think different, behave different, and act different. So people who never get results, you know right then that they've never changed the way that they think. They've never moved to a different level of consciousness. And I love that word consciousness. It just means you become more conscious of your obstacles, your ego, your pride. Your own obstacles have become your biggest enemy. But when you're at a lower state of consciousness, you can't see it. In many relationships, no matter, you can find all the fault in the world with your partner, but you're at such a low level of consciousness that you can't see your own shortcomings, you can't see your own failures, you can't see your own problems and issues that you have because you're vibrating at such a low level of consciousness. So when you're more conscious about not just you, but the other person, not just your body and your weight goal, but your overall body, your physiology, your biology, your chemistry, which involves your stress levels, your sleep, you know, all of these things together, your consciousness changes. You become conscious about what you should be doing, what the real enemy is. I'll give you a simple example. People come back and say, hey, Luke, your diet doesn't work. You can't, I can't lose weight. They find all the blame in the world, but they're not willing to see or be conscious of the things that they're not doing. So no diet in the world can help them unless they change and they move. And that's why we help coach people to a new level of consciousness because that's the only way you're gonna get different results. You wanna change the relationship between you and your children, teenagers. I feel sorry for all the parents out there who have already put their teenagers in a category of teenagers being ruthless and rough and indisciplined and unkind. When you've already put them in that category, that's exactly what you're gonna get. There are tons of teenagers out there who are kind, who have their head on their shoulders, who are beautiful in their own ways, who don't care about your, you know, the insecurities that you as a parent have. But you gotta be conscious about your child. You gotta be conscious about all of these things. You block your consciousness when you put your child, when you put yourself, when you put your partner, when you put your disease into a box that is defined by society, defined by the movies, by songs, by social media you're always gonna be vibrating at a very low frequency. 
at a lower state of consciousness. So I'm going to repeat this once again. Any change that you're trying to make in your life, yes, find the best tools. Find the best tools. You can afford the best tools, spend the money and get the best tools. Do what you want, but the tools are useless unless you change and move from a level of low consciousness to a level of higher consciousness. For that, you need to set intention. Most people don't even know what they want. Today they want to lose weight. Tomorrow they want more muscle. Day after they want to fit into a particular dress or pant. And the next day they want better skin. It's never, people don't know what they want. They're just like puppets of society, puppets of you know everything that's on the outside world. So number one, set your intention. Immediately move to a lower, to move from a lower consciousness to a higher consciousness. Set your crystal clear intention. Number two, mindfulness. Be mindful. Life is always telling you why you're fat, why you can't lose weight, why you're depressed, why you can't sleep at night, why your relationship is falling apart, why your boss doesn't like you or you don't like your boss, why your business is failing. Life is giving you all the answers if you're mindful. And if you're listening, I don't know why it's happening to me because you can't see, because you're blind. Your mind is filled with chaos and chatter, with fears. Your own fears become stories. They become illusions and that becomes anxiety. So you see, you've got to break that vicious cycle. So you need intention. You need mindfulness. You need acceptance. You need letting go. And when you put these four things together, you can change anything in your life. And of course, there's destiny. If you're destined to die today, if I'm destined to die tomorrow, it's going to happen no matter what tools I have, no matter how conscious I am. But it doesn't stop us from keeping destiny on the side because we don't understand it. We don't know it. So you keep it in the dark corner and you work on everything that's right in front of your eyes, right in front of you right now. You have no control over your future. You have no control over your past. What you do in your present right now is determining and planting seeds for a future that you can hope for. It's still not within your control. For all of this, you need consciousness. What a beautiful word. Mindfulness, consciousness, intention, acceptance, and letting go. And then all the things that you're chasing every day, you wake up in the morning, you stand on the scale, your whole day is spoiled because the scale didn't budge. You're, you're living at a very, very low level of consciousness. You're still at a state in your relationship where there's insecurity, you're fighting and you're bringing up the past, you're bringing up all the nonsense. It's never going to get better. How can your relationship get better when you're still behaving and thinking at a low level of consciousness? So any change that any of us ever want in life will first start with us changing the level of consciousness that we are at. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you. You can become a new you today by deciding to change the way you think, by deciding to live a little bit more mindfully, a little bit more consciously. Sometimes to live more consciously and to change our level of consciousness Yep, we got to cut out the wrong friends who no longer serve us. We got to cut out the wrong relationships, cut out the wrong foods, cut out the wrong lifestyles that are keeping us operating and vibrating at that low level of consciousness. You can't be trying to attain a higher level of consciousness, but you're still stuck with people, things and an environment that is not at your level of consciousness. You can still respect them, be there for them, but you got to slowly cut away if you want to be at a higher level of consciousness. Have a great day, everyone.